Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is only for my plus 2 second year students. Here, in this video, I discuss plus 2 second year physics syllabus and also question pattern and marks distribution in final examination. So, please see this video very carefully. Here, Unit 1 Electrostatics. There are two chapters. First one is Electric Charges and Fields. Second one is electrostatic potential and capacitance. In first chapter, we discuss electric charge and its quantization, conservation of charge, Coulomb's law, force between two point charges, force between multiple charges, superposition principle, continuous charge distribution. And also we discuss electric field due to a point charge, electric field line, electric field due to a dipole at any point, torque on a dipole in uniform electric field. Also, electric flux, Gauss's theorem and its application. That means we calculate the electric field for a charge infinite plane sheet, infinite long straight wire and uniformly charged thin spherical cell. Second chapter is electrostatic potential and capacitance. Here we discuss electric potential potential difference, electric potential due to a point charge, potential due to a dipole, potential due to a system of charges. Equipotential surface, electric potential energy of a system of two point charges and of electric dipole in an electrostatic field. Also, we discuss conductor, insulator, free charges and bound charges inside a conductor dielectrics and electric polarization, capacitor and capacitance, capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with and without dielectric medium between the plates, combination of capacitor in series and in parallel energy store in a capacitor. <laughs> Unit 2 Current Electricity Here we discuss electric current, drift velocity, mobility and their relation with electric current. This one is very important and very conceptual. Then we discuss Ohm's law, electrical resistance, conductance, resistivity, conductivity, effect of temperature on resistivity, V versus I characteristics for linear and non-linear curve, electrical energy and power, carbon resistance, color code of carbon resistance, combination of register in series and parallel. This portion is very important for practical. Na then we discuss EMF and potential difference, internal resistance of a cell and also we discuss Kirchhoff law and its application. Also we discuss Houston bridge and meter bridge, potentiometer principle and its application. Also we measure of internal resistance of a cell. This Two unit that means unit 1 and unit 2 total carry 15 marks in final examination. Unit 3 magnetic effect of current and magnetism. There are also two chapter. First one is moving charges and magnetism and second one is magnetism and matter. In first chapter we discuss concept of magnetic field or state experiment bias apart law in application. That means we calculate the magnetic field on the axis. Also we discuss Ampere's law and its application to infinite long straight wire and straight and toroid solenoid. Force on a moving charge in a uniform magnetic and electric field also we calculate. Also we discuss about cyclotron which is very important for final examination. So we discuss force on a current carrying conductor in a uniform magnetic field and moving coil galvanometer its current sensitivity and conversion to ammeter and voltmeter. In second chapter we discuss current loop as a magnetic dipole and its magnetic dipole moment. Magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron Magnetic field intensity due to a magnetic dipole along its axis and perpendicular to its axis. Also, we discuss about earth magnetic field and magnetic elements. Also, here I discuss paramagnetic, 
diamagnetic and ferromagnetic substance with example and also we discuss about permanent magnets now for in unit 4 we discuss electromagnetic induction and alternating current here in electromagnetic induction i discuss faraday's law of electromagnetic induction induced emf and current lenz's law eddy current self and mutual inductance and in se second chapter alternating current where we discuss alternating currents peak and rms value of alternating current and voltage also we discuss lr circuit lcs circuit lc circuit and also generator and transformer this two unit carries total 16 marks in final examination unit 5 electromagnetic wave here I discuss the basic concept of Maxwell electromagnetic equation and also we discuss briefly about displacement current and also we discuss magnetic spectrum like radio wave, micro wave, infrared, visible red, x-ray, gamma ray, etc. And unit 6 optics. Optics there are two chapter. One is ray optics and optical instrument. Here we discuss about reflection, refraction, mirror, lens, refractive index and also we discuss about prism, scattering of light, why the blue color of sky and also we discuss about microscopes and telescope and second chapter wave optics here we discuss Huygens principle reflection and refraction of plane wave at a plane surface using waveform and also we discuss about interference means double slit experiment and also we discuss diffraction single slit and polarization total 17 marks carry from unit 5 and 6 in final examination now unit 7 is dual nature of radiation and matter in dual nature of radiation we discuss photoelectric effect einstein photoelectric equation particle nature of light and also we discuss matter waves wave nature of particles de Broglie relation division germer experiment and unit 7 atomic and nuclear physics in atomic physics we discuss about atoms rutherford models bohr's model and hydrogen spectrum in nuclear physics we discuss atomic nucleus its composition size nuclear mass binding energy packing fraction nuclear fission and fusion radioactivity alpha beta gamma ray also we discuss radioactive decay law half life and decay constant and these two unit means unit 7 and unit 8 carries 10 marks in final examination now next unit unit 9 is semiconductor electronics this is very important and from this unit we discuss about conductor semiconductor and insulator and also we discuss p type and n type semiconductor that means pn junction diode and its characteristics led ldr jenner diode and its application and also we discuss junction transistor transistor action characteristics of a transistor means transistor used as an amplifier and also we discuss about digital electronics means logic gate or gate and gate not gate NAND gate nor gate etc and next unit 10 communication system here we discuss mainly elements of communication system bandwidth of a signal and also we discuss about 
frequency modulation amplitude modulation demodulation gps system mobile telephony and internet that we discuss in this unit and unit 9 and 10 total carries 12 mark in final examination now we discuss the question pattern group a there are 14 marks first seven question each carry one marks mainly multiple choice question that means four option is there you choose one option which is correct and second seven question which also carry one mark this question mainly short question and answer each bit as direct so group a there are 14 marks in group b short question two mark short question there are also seven questions you want to or ten total 14 marks and also three mark question also there is seven questions of the following bits total marks 21 now group c mainly long questions there are three questions and each questions carry seven marks that means 21 so group a plus group b plus group c total 70 marks and practical 30 marks total 100 i think you all understand total syllabus and question pattern i also give you previous year 2020 physics paper questions pdf form with this video in description link if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you